Well, see, well, you, that's it right there. It was like someone close to you, close to you pisses you off, or you fall for you love someone, and you're fully living that, like you said. You know, when you leave the room, you don't stop fully living that. You know, it's still with you. Um, and maybe over time it fades, depending on what happens. But it, you know, and the more you do it, the more you're able to step in and out of it. But it's still kind of it's with you. I, I think acting is like that. It was difficult for me when I first started um, doing Chris from the Wire to leave Chris at, on set. I found myself seeing the world as a much darker place. Um, so I, you know, Chris watches. He, he stalks. I found myself just watching people and, and stalking. No, I'm not admitting to anything on, on camera. Not stalking in that way. I mean, not physically stalking. They exactly, you know. Of course, you know, their straining orders would say different, but that's another that's another story. So, but then after that was the first thing I I did it on television. So so after a while, after I developed, I think after I developed as an actor as a performer, uh, I was able to leave things on on the stage more leave it on the set more and that helps you'll be approaching you'll be saying Chris yeah so even though you leave it you're Chris I, to some people no matter what I do no matter what roles I do I'll always be Chris you know and and that's not necessarily a bad thing because the wire was something I'm, I'll always be proud of doing um, it's just important to me to go and do other things that are different from the wire so I can show a range and make different art do you ever wake up thinking you're Chris? Like, does it ever get to that extent? No. I've woken up thinking of uh, <laughs> thinking things that Chris would think, <laughs> 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 but I've never woken up thinking I was Chris. Yeah. 